What is going on YouTubers? Today's video is going to be about the drop shot, the boom shot, and the torque bow. I want to give you guys some advices, tips, and tricks how to use these weapons more effectively. And I hope I can provide you guys some information you guys are not really aware of. Now the first weapon I want to talk about is the boom shot. Now everyone knows about the boom shot for the longest time. If you guys are Gears of War veterans or if you guys have been playing Gears of War for such a long time. Now... To be honest with you guys, I noticed every boom shot is different in every Gears of War. I think Gears 1 was not that overpowered. Gears of War 2, not that overpowered. Gears of War 3, probably pretty overpowered. And Gears of War 4, it, it's pretty overpowered once again for many reasons. Now, in Gears of War 4, I noticed the boom shot has the most splash damage of all boom shots. And now, the changes between Gears of War 3 and Gears of War 4 is Gears of War 3, you had three boom shots. But this one, they decided to change it and... What they did was, instead of making the boom shots um, have more ammo, they literally just made it with two shots again, like the original boom shot was, and increased the splash damage. Now guys, remember, once you um, active reload the boom shot, it's gotta be more stronger splash damage. So the way I like to use it is, when I feel like the enemies are together, that's why I like to use the boom shot the most effectively. Or I just take enemies out real quickly, but guys, you gotta remember, do not try to shoot on the body. Try to shoot between the feet and the enemies because if you try to shoot the body, the chances are you could possibly miss if he takes cover or jumps over cover or jumps away from the boom shot. If you shoot between the feet, it, the chances are you're gonna be able to take the enemy out immediately because of the splash damage. If you guys look very closely, I basically just missed and ran out two boom shots without getting a kill. Now that's the, like one of the worst things you could possibly do. and I, like I said earlier, try to shoot a boom shot at closer range in between the feet instead of trying to pull lucky shots. The, the chances are people are just going to look at it, dodge it, and just stay away from you. Many good players are going to you know, try to stay away from you as much as possible once you pick up the weapon. Now that guys, the boom shot is probably the most important weapon in Gears of War. It changes the gameplay. <laughs> Literally, it's the reason why you can win many games. And sometimes I don't see people going for the weapon like it's nothing. Like if you guys ever notice like... You ever see matches where you're in a match and you're at the boom shot by yourself and you pick it up with your teammates and literally no one's there to even cover it and once you take the bench of the weapon and constantly spawn into it and pick up up ammo and just taking enemies out all the time with it, it you can literally win so many games and I just think it's so weird people don't take the boom shot seriously so I advise you guys to take the boom shot seriously and if you have the boom shot not only take the enemies out, but once you run out of ammo, you gotta remember that in that's 30 to 45 seconds, the, the weapons gonna spawn back and you can pick up ammo. It's so important in team deathmatch, definitely. Even Warzone execution, you guys, you gotta remember that since the weapon's so overpowered, you really have one life. So the boom shot literally changes the gameplay a lot, and it's just a great weapon to use, and many good players know that because they've been playing Gears of War for such a long time. Once again, guys, I'm gonna remind you guys to shoot between the feet, Act to reload the boom shot as much as possible because why not? It's gonna increase more damage and chances for you to kill an enemy. Not only that, guys, when someone's approaching you and you feel like you're gonna die, you might as well commit suicide and shoot the boom shot on you and, and the enemy because, well, why not? You guys, you're gonna get a kill at least, take the enemy with you. And not only that, you're gonna have one boom shot left unless you already ran out of ammo and it's gonna help your team progress. So, <laughs> that's what I do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But, like I said, the boom shot is literally the most important pick a weapon of all weapons in the game. It literally changes the gameplay. And take advantage of it as much as possible and defend it from enemies from picking you up. Now guys, the next weapon I want to talk to you guys about that's very classic and very old and many people are very familiar with is the Torque Bow. The Torque Bow is such a fun weapon to use, but it could be very challenging to use for many reasons. Remember, it's a weapon to charge up and basically is a bow. Explosive bow. So once you stalk an enemy with the bow, they're gonna explode and they're gonna die. But it has five shots instead of six shots, like the original way. And uh, I think they increase the, st the splash damage even further. Now, guys, the trick I want to tell you guys is act to reload it when you're ready to charge a torque bow. Now, when you act to reload, remember it charges much, much faster than it usually does, which is very important. It's gonna help you charge the bow faster and land the shots even further. Remember, when you charge the weapon, enemies are going to hear it in their mics or their headsets or whatever they're using to hear in the game. And once they hear it, they're going to be scared and they're going to be aware of the weapons being charged and being pointed at somebody. So, they're all going to scatter and take cover. The best way to use the weapon is, once again, is uh, act reload reload it so you, get, you can charge a weapon even faster to land the shots at somebody. Or if they are... 
Or you could use a weapon stealthily. You could stay far away with the weapon, charge the weapon. The further away, the chances are they're gonna have a more, much harder time to figure out where the bow is being charged, and especially if they're fighting against somebody. Now, if they're going against your teammates, they're gonna be distracted. And that's the best way to use the torque bow, is using the weapon when they're distracted, instead of being right in front of them. Now, being stealth with the weapon, it's really good to use. And not only that, guys, when you point the weapon at the head, and you score a headshot, it's gonna go through uh, the enemy. So it can land on somebody else. So you could possibly have, you could possibly score more than one headshot, which, uh, it's pretty hard to do, but it has happened before. I remember pulling that one time in Gears of War 3. Not only that, once you charge a torque bow with the active reload, not only, once again, it charges faster, it actually creeps the damage a little bit more. So, you don't always have to land the torque bow on somebody's body. You can put it between their feet and covers, and it could possibly kill them. So, that's another tip of trick right there. And, uh, the weapon's still very deadly. You don't always have to land a shot on somebody's body. Remember, it's a explosive weapon. If, as long as somebody's right next to the torque bow radius, the chances are that it might die due to how much damage you took, or if you act to reload the weapon. But once again, this weapon's old, it's great, it's fun to use, but it could be very challenging. And I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, the chances are you're gonna miss a lot of shots before you can really get to know this weapon more often. But a lot of people are already familiar with it because it's old. It's This tor this weapon's been around since Gears of War 1. But once again, guys, uh, I hope I provide some information for the torque bow. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the drop shot. Now. This weapon's new. This is the first time it has appeared in Gears of War game. And I really like this weapon a lot. It's very fun to use. Now the drop shot is basically a weapon that it's a mine tool that fires an aerial mine. So uh, it will fly away as long as you hold the trigger. And once you aim it down the enemy, it's gonna explode the guy. So it's pretty overpowered. I, I like it a lot. And it's pretty new towards the franchise. Now the best way to use a weapon is if you're shooting where the enemy's at and they're off guard and not aware of the weapon. And uh, if there's a lot of enemies together. Now this weapon's great to do that. At the same time, if we're, let's compare the boom shot and the drop shot. Now the drop shot was able to do is it's gonna land on the enemy much faster in a, long, in a longer range. Instead of the boom shot, you just have to aim and press the trigger. But in the drop shot, you could tell where you want the weapon to go and where to drop, obviously, because that's what it's called, a drop shot. Now, hit firing is not that bad either, but if an enemy is coming towards you, don't bother shooting the drop shot. You're most likely going to miss, and uh, the chances are your, your opponent's going to be able to kill you. So, stay away as much as you can, and make sure you use the weapon as far as you can at the same time. Active reloading weapons could be even better. Not only it will uh, travel... Uh, across the map much faster, the splash radius would be much bigger at the same time. So active reload on the weapon, once again, it's going to be very important. And not only that, the execution is pretty awesome on this weapon. If you guys ever done the execution on this weapon, it's so freaking awesome. It's probably the coolest execution ever. And that's with the try shot. Just remember that you only have three shots, you gotta make them count. At the same time, if you know the drop shots in the map, you might want to defend it from any of them picking it up. Like I said, it's pretty it's pretty overpowered. I think the boom shot is more superior still, but its own unique way the drop shot could be very game changing too. So once again, just try to defend the weapon from anyone else picking you up. And once you pick it up, just practice and start using it, and you're gonna get to know the weapon right off the bat. When I first used it, I was very confused how to use it, but it didn't take that much longer for me to realize how to use the weapon. The weapon plays such a big role when you're on high ground too, because you have so much room to be able to land the shots where you want to aim towards the enemy with the drop shot. At the same time, if you could be stealth with the drop shot, by all means do it. It's going to catch the enemy off guard, so you're going to have a better chance of killing somebody. And not only that, if you're playing King of the Hill and you're using this weapon, it's going to just be a massive clusterfuck to take many people out. Once again, if you have to reload the drop shot, not only it's got a higher splash damage, but at the same time, it's got to drop to the ground much faster. So, after reloading the weapon is very important. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it provides some information you guys are looking for on all three weapons. Now, they're all overpowered weapons, and I advise you guys to really take advantage of them as much as possible when playing online multiplayer. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more content. But, bye-bye.